Ever found yourself pondering over what a transponder is and how it works? Well, you're not alone. Transponders are a fascinating piece of technology that often go unnoticed, yet they play a vital role in our daily lives. Picture a transponder as a type of radio transmitter. Its name is a blend of transmitter and responder, hinting at its primary function. Its job is to receive a signal and then immediately respond by transmitting a signal of its own. This might sound simple, but the technology behind it is anything but. The magic happens when the transponder sends these signals to a specific location. This is crucial in various sectors, such as aviation and telecommunications, where precision is key. Transponders are like invisible messengers, tirelessly working behind the scenes, ensuring that signals get to where they need to go. Intrigued? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the workings of a transponder. A transponder isn't as complex as it sounds. Let's break it down. A transponder is essentially a wireless communications, monitoring or control device that picks up and automatically responds to an incoming signal. The name transponder is a portmanteau of transmitter and responder. Now let's delve into its inner workings. First, the transponder receives a signal. This signal can come from various sources such as a satellite, a remote control or a RFID, radio frequency identification reader. Within the transponder, the incoming signal is directed to the receiver circuit. The receiver circuit is designed to pick up specific frequencies, which are the frequencies of the signals it's intended to receive. Once the signal is received, it's time for the second step, amplification. The signal, which may have become weak during transmission, needs to be strengthened again. This is where the amplifier comes in. It boosts the signal's strength so it can be accurately retransmitted. Then, we come to the final stage, retransmission. But here's the catch. The signal isn't merely retransmitted as it was received. Instead, it's shifted to a different frequency. This frequency shift is crucial as it prevents the incoming and outgoing signals from interfering with each other. This frequency conversion is performed by the mixer, a component of the transponder. The mixer combines the incoming signal with a local oscillator signal to produce a new signal at a different frequency. This new signal is then passed to the transmitter circuit, which sends it out, completing the transponder's job. By receiving, amplifying and retransmitting signals at different frequencies, transponders enable communication over long distances. They act as relay points, picking up signals that might be too weak to reach their destination, amplifying them and sending them on their way. This process is continuous and automatic. It's like having a dedicated postman who not only delivers your messages, but also ensures they're loud and clear when they reach their destination. So, that's the basic functioning of a transponder. But where do we see its application? Transponders are everywhere, even if you don't realize it. These small yet mighty devices are integral to our modern world, running silently in the background, enabling a multitude of applications that we use daily. Let's start with the skies above. In the realm of satellite communication, transponders are the unsung heroes. They receive signals from Earth, amplify them, and then send them back down, allowing us to connect with people from all corners of the globe. Whether it's a phone call to a loved one overseas, a live international broadcast, or even the GPS system that guides you home, none of these would be possible without transponders. Now let's bring it back down to Earth, quite literally. The aviation industry relies heavily on transponders. They are a critical component in the aircraft's communication system. A transponder in an airplane receives interrogation signals from air traffic control radar and responds with a unique code. This allows the control tower to identify and track the aircraft, ensuring safe and efficient air travel. But transponders aren't just for high-tech industries. They're also found in everyday items, such as your car keys. Ever wonder how your car knows it's you and not someone else trying to unlock it? Well, it's all thanks to a transponder chip in your key. When you insert your key into the ignition, the transponder sends a unique signal to the car's computer. If the signal matches the one stored in the system, the car unlocks and you're good to go. Moreover, transponders have also found applications in sports like cycling and running races. They help in accurately timing the participants from start to finish ensuring a fair competition. It's truly remarkable to see how transponders, despite their small size, play such a massive role in our lives. 
They maintain our global communication networks, keep our skies safe, secure our cars, and even ensure fairness in sports. It's amazing to see how such a small device has such wide-ranging applications, isn't it? So now, when someone asks you about a transponder, you can confidently explain it to them. A transponder, you'll say, is a wireless communications, monitoring or control device that picks up and automatically responds to an incoming signal. It's like an electronic switch that's triggered by a specific signal frequency. You'll also enlighten them on how it works, that it receives a signal, modifies it and sends it back. This is the basic principle that allows for a wide range of applications, from television broadcasting to air traffic control. Let's not forget its uses. Transponders are everywhere. They're in our cars, helping with toll collection. They're in space, aiding satellite communication. They're even in our pets, helping us keep track of them. So share this knowledge, spread the word about this fascinating piece of technology. And remember, every complex device is just a combination of simple principles. Stay curious and keep learning.